Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at Java One India talking to members of the Java community. I've got Harshad Oak with me. Hi, Harshad. Hi, Tori. How are you good doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. Um, so you're a very active member of the Java community. Mm -hmm. Tell me all the things that you do. Uh, I have been involved with Java for quite some time, for over a decade now. I've been writing books about Java. Uh, we, I, I, along with a few other people, drive a user group in Pune. And I've been writing articles, books, and kind of reaching out and kind of sharing all the uh, all, all the new good stuff, the latest and greatest with Java. Right, so, right. Yeah, yeah so, you're a little shy because I know you're a Java <laughs> champion too, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's nice to have. Yeah. So tell me about what your sessions are going to be here. I am speaking on the Oracle Java Cloud here, uh, which is the new of Java Cloud offering from Oracle. And I, I find it really exciting and it's something that more people need to be aware of. So hopefully my session will help. Good. So, um, why bother with the cloud? People say it's a buzzword. People say it's not. What right, what right. what things can the cloud do for a developer? Uh, actually, I think the cloud is now past that stage of being a buzzword. It's more okay. of maturing. So, if you, even if you look at search trends, you will find that uh, people are now accepting the cloud, and there are real solutions available in the cloud. So, actually, now we are in the stage where people have accepted the benefits of cloud and kind of moved to actually adopting it. So the primary benefit of the cloud, as kind of any would be aware, is that you don't have to do all the stuff that you don't want to do. You can just focus on building your product, mm -hmm. which is the benefit of using the cloud service from Oracle as well. That is a standards-based service that uh, where you can <coughs> deploy a normal Java E application fairly easily in quick time using any of the tools like NetBeans and JDeveloper. So it's, it looks really promising. Okay, and you've worked with it a bit. And yeah. You're writing a book, right? Yeah, yeah. so I've been working with it for some time, and now I'm writing a book uh, for Oracle Press about the uh, Java Cloud. So, yeah. Yeah. So, what have you seen that's been interesting about it for Java developers? A Java one this time? Yeah. Uh, I think the best part is that Java continues to be to stay strong and robust. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, Java has gone through some rough times over the past few years, but it continues to stay strong. It continues to move forward. Uh, not just Java, but Java E as well. So, although I don't don't see anything radical or anything very different, but just the thing that is moving forward and there's definite progress and definite robustness in the platform and the strength of the platform continues to be there. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's something that developers definitely want from Java, and that is there. So, so that's tell what I'm me happy about. if there's I don't know if there's such thing as an Indian Java developer community, but what do you mm -hmm. see where you are? Is there you know, a lot of activity, or people mm -hmm. busy working, or tell me, right. tell me what it's like. Right. Give me a right. flavor. Uh, in in terms of numbers, the Indian Java community is very, very large. It's, okay. it's huge, rather. There would be thousands and thousands of Java developers in every city. But in terms of activity, probably we need there's some there's some work to be done. Mm -hmm. So uh, there there are a few groups uh, across uh, some cities in India, and uh, we have occasional meets and stuff. But the participation isn't as much as we would like. But it's it's improving. It, it eventually get there. Okay. Well, good. So I know you can go out to Java.net if you're interested, right, in yeah. joining a, a jug. And there's right. a big map, and you right. can take right. a look and see if there's one in your city. Oh. So tell me some of the activities you've done at, at your um, jug lately. Uh, mostly the Pune jug has we have been come for many. It's probably one of the oldest in India. The, mm -hmm. the the first people who started it started it long time back in '96 or something around that time. So it's been handed over to next people, somebody else who's kind of driving it for a few years, somebody else takes it up. It's mostly around uh, user meets, monthly meets, interactions over email, and that's kind of been the primary focus of the user group in Pune. Excellent. Yeah. So it sounds active, and I want to thank you for your enthusiasm for Java over the years. It's a pleasure. And, it's a and pleasure it's, working with Java. Yeah, it sounds very exciting about learning about uh, Oracle's Java Cloud offering, right. which I know you can learn more, and you can get a free 30-day trial if Absolutely. you want to check it out. So thank you very much, and this is Tori Wheel from the Oracle Technology Network. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Appreciate it.